Welcome to another video with me, Tanya Ross of TDR Academy of Movement and Therapy. We're going to use some movements, some stretches coming from yoga inspired movements, also from just a great diversity of other stretches and mobilizations to get the joints working and to get the muscles lengthening. So sometimes if you're not getting to move through certain ranges in a day, you can feel stiff and the joints feel stiff, the muscles don't want to lengthen, the body parts don't want to move there. So sometimes just taking it into these relaxed held positions where you feel a sense of stretch in a certain area can help you to become a little bit more tolerant of those positions when your body needs to move into them. So take it as a gentle stretch, find your level, when we direct you into a certain target area, you can find whether it feels gentle or if you want to add a little bit more strength to the movement to make it feel stronger by going deeper into the position, but never take it to a point where it feels like it's painful. Always work with a stretch sensation that feels like it's a comfortable discomfort and that way your body will get a little bit more of a chance to melt and relax and to take it as a nice relaxed gentle stretch which is the nature of what we're trying to do with this session so don't strive too hard just try to relax and we're going to lead you in just with a little bit of relaxation first of all and that way hopefully get you set up um, into the zone that we want to bring you into so relax get yourself ready um, onto your mat and all the props that you need for this session potentially a pillow or maybe some blocks to sit on, but you don't need too much. Um, and um, yeah, certainly you can make this session your own at any way possible. Any variations are always good, as long as it feels good to you. So enjoy the session and um, chill out. Allowing that sense of lengthening through the back of your neck as you're lying there on the floor. And you can decide whether it feels comfortable with the neck feeling long, almost reaching away from the tailbone. Do you want to have the legs bent on the floor or do you want to have them long and straight? So you can choose whatever feels better for your own body. Allow as you're lying there the arms to rotate so the palms are facing upwards. And that might mean drifting the hands a little bit out away from the body. Almost reaching and stretching, open the hands, kind of springing the fingers open and wide, and then letting the arms relax and the hands relax. We're going to do the same with the feet, whether the legs are bent or whether the legs are straight. I want you to kind of pull the toes as if you're pulling them towards your shins, and then scrunch the toes, curling them under. And then again, spring the toes open wide. And then allow the, the legs and the feet and the toes to relax. And with those eyes gently closed, draw your attention to any signs that you hear within your room. Maybe there's music on, or maybe the room is quiet and still. Maybe you notice almost like the sounds of electric, whether it's lights on, whether there's other gadgets on. And then allow your attention to drift inside your body. Just to notice anything. Do you feel tensions? Do you feel tightnesses, blockages, anything? What do you feel inside your own body? Stiffnesses? And you really try to listen to the information coming. And maybe you're 
sensing that as the body as a whole. Or maybe you're picking up on something in the legs. Maybe you're picking up on something in the hips. Maybe in through your torso, the tummy, the back, the chest, the shoulders. Maybe you're sensing something in the arms and in the hands. Or maybe in through the neck or the head or even the face. And whatever you notice, take a deep breath in and send the breath into those areas. Feel the breath create open space and as you breathe out, let the breath slowly leave the body. It leaves the part that's it's left a little bit more relaxed. And we're going to use that sense with the breath that when you feel anything in your body that maybe feels like a tightness or anything that feels like it's just not quite right, send the breath into that area and then as you breathe out, align the breath to slowly leave the body to try to soften that area. As you align there, we're going to take that first stretch and we're going to align, maybe just placing a pillow underneath the shoulders to start opening up through the chest. So if you have a pillow handy or a block, whatever you've got, I'm going to place it underneath that upper back section. If you feel that you need a pillow in through there for the head as well, if it doesn't feel nice to have that throat opener. Now in that position you can choose to have the legs out straight. Or maybe you want to have the legs bent and opening them up into butterfly soles of the feet together and knees drifting out to the side. And the arm options can be either down by your sides, open out to the sides, maybe into this eye surrender position. Or maybe they're somewhere overhead. So you can decide where they go, whatever feels the most useful to you. And it's trying to see, can you soften into that position? And with the breath, the deep breath moving into the chest. I can't get my leg. You can't walk through it. I can't get my leg then. So allow it to go wherever it wants to. If it wants to be straight, it can be straight. Yeah. And finding whatever works with it, whatever works and helps it to feel as relaxed as you can. So as you're finding your way into that position again, that notion of relaxing. So even though you're lifted on the pillow, I want you to get that in breath. And as you breathe out, that sinking into the pillow, sinking into what you're molded around. We're going to take just one more breath here. And then after that, then you can start to bend the legs up a little. Bring the arms down and just rolling onto your side and you can remove the, the pillow or whatever you're using the block from there. So we're going to take a few sweeping movements with the arms. So you can rest with the legs bent if that helps you to stay in place. So we're going to take the arms through that straight line, reaching all the way up. And then we're going to open them into that eye surrender position. And you're trying to keep the backs of the elbows and the backs of the hands on the floor. Then as you move them down, the elbows are lowering by your sides. You're still trying to keep the backs of the hands on the floor and then sweeping the hands down by your sides. So you're lifting up through the center line opening wide to eye surrender, palms to the ceiling, trying to sneak the elbows down by your sides as the arms reach down there as well. So we're going to take another two of those. 
just noticing the differences maybe between both shoulders. Do they both move quite cleanly or is there a bit of, there's something a bit sticky going on in the, the shoulders. And then we're going to reverse the movement. Once your arms are down by your side again, we're going to reverse it. So you're going to think about keeping your elbows by your sides as you move the elbows, or sorry, the arms out. Then coming up through that I surrender position, reaching them up overhead, trying to keep your arms close to the floor, and then down through that centre channel. So again, elbows by your side, moving, rotating the forearms out, coming up into I surrender, sweeping it all the way up, and then down the centre line. So two more through there. This is just softly mobilising. Reaching and finding that length. So again, last movement. And then once you're finished from there, we're going to bring it with the hands coming in behind. So we're going to place it up behind the back. Okay, so you can decide how far is far enough for you. And then we're going to bring the body weight on top of it. So obviously the higher up the hand goes, the stronger that's going to be when your body weight comes down onto it. So you can play about with it if you need to adjust it. Wherever you can go, and once you get the hands in place, a little bit harder to adjust, but you could wiggle your body weight down a little bit if you need to. But once you're into that position, you're trying to let that shoulder soften and melt. And again, this is where maybe using your breath to direct it into the shoulder. What can you soften in through there? That deep breath in. Sending it to where you feel you need it to go. And the out breath. Trying to melt as much of the body into the floor as you can. And on each separate level, you might notice that each out breath you maybe drop a layer of tension in one area. Maybe that exposes something else as being a little bit tight in or around the shoulder. So each time you take an out breath, can you soften another layer down into the floor? And then slowly, whenever you're ready, taking one more deep breath in. And as you breathe out, then you can roll away from that hand and slide the hand down. And then maybe just a little bit out from the body. So we're going to take it straight over onto the other side. So again, sliding the hand up from the back to wherever you can get it. And then allowing the, the body to rest again on that, that hand. Maybe there's a wee bit of rejigging that needs to be done once you're there. But once you draw yourself into position again, can you let the elbow drop? Can you let the shoulder drop? Can you let the arm go as loose as you can possibly make it? And again, that's picking up on any tensions that you maybe feel in through the shoulder and using those breaths, breathing in. And then as you breathe out, can you melt a layer of tension away? And again, those breaths in, using a few breaths. Targeting yet another layer of tension each time. To let it sink into the floor and to let it release. And each time you might feel that you've let go of a little bit more. Is there a little bit more to go? We're going to take one final deep breath there. And as you breathe out, rolling away from that arm and then slowly releasing the hand back down. So just letting the arms open out to the side. And again, once you open them out there, then we're going to just 
Give them a, a little like a tense and release, a tense and release through the hands, just in case it feels like they've been kind of squashed a little bit through there. Maybe a little bit of loss of blood flow. Just a few little open and closes. And then rest the arms back down. Okay. So we're going to take a hold of the knee, whether it's under or over, and we're going to bring you up into seated. Okay. So we're going to start to draw it in to a little bit more of the upper body work. So if you feel it's comfortable to sit cross-legged or maybe if you want to sit on a couple of blocks or pillows or whatever, if it feels like it brings you up, that makes it a little bit more comfortable. So, and in terms of the, the knees and things, so if it feels comfortable just to sit with the legs out long and straight, that's also an option. So you can choose what way is comfortable for you to sit. So draw yourself into whatever position feels good to you okay and we're going to take the arm across the body as it brings it across you're going to hug it in and you can decide once you take it in there where does that feel what what are you sensing around that outer shoulder and if it feels like you want to progress this one a little bit you can pop the hand onto the back and maybe again dropping a little bit more pressure into that elbow to press it in behind you. Take a deep breath in and then slowly release, taking it open, that stretch and open. So then taking it across onto the other side. So again, maybe it's that straight arm as you hook under to pull it in close. To get that outer shoulder and as you take the arm in across again figuring out where do you feel it and if it feels that it might be a little bit different you can pop the hand onto the back and draw it in so just whatever it feels like gives you again that sense of a better stretch in through there another deep breath in and as you breathe out releasing the arms and taking them open a little stretch in behind with the arms so we're going to bring it into eagle arms so maybe bringing the right arm across first and give yourself a little bit of a hug drawing it in and again just whatever position feels best for the legs so elbows are kind of connected together and then we're going to try to pivot those forearms more towards the vertical. If that feels like it's a struggle, you can always put a strap in between the hands to hold them together, or you can stay in that, that hug position, then try to bring them up. So once you're in that position, I want you to get a sense of, do you need to alter it slightly? So in there, can you sit up nice and tall through the back? Or maybe, can you bring the elbows up a little bit higher? And again, they're all maybes because they're add-ons and you can decide if it feels appropriate in terms of the level for you to add that on. Take a deep breath and send it to where again you feel those tensions. We're going to take one more breath. And as you breathe out, slowly unfolding. And then reaching down and back just to open up through the chest. So that was right arm on top. So uh, then when we come into that hug, the left arm is on top, reaching those arms around as far as you can, like the biggest hug you can give yourself. And then from there, you're pressing the elbows together to help pivot the forearms up wherever you can get to, whatever you can grab, or if you can get to the forearms. And again, nice and tall with the spine. And deciding, does that feel like that level is enough for you or do you feel like you need to add in to bring it in to allow those elbows to lift a little bit higher? Breathing deeply. taking one final deep breath there and as you release then slowly 
Align the arms to sink down and again reaching them open. So from there just give the shoulders just a few little rolls. And now we're going to bring it into the chest. So if you're sitting on any blocks or any pillows or anything, you can pop off them just to bring the hips onto the floor. And we're going to have the legs just out in front comfortably, wherever they feel, again, that they're most at ease. Fingers are going to point towards the toes, so we're going to bring a little bit into the front of the shoulder after closing that down. So the sense of lifting up through the chest again, almost kind of puffing the chest up to the ceiling. So in that position, if you push the arms a little bit straighter, you're going to feel like it brings the stretch into the forearms, okay? So you can choose the level of that, just also in terms of wrists if they're happy to go there. So you're puffing out the chest, maybe even sending the breath into the chest so that it helps to expand just that little bit more. And just wherever the head feels more relaxed. And then you can start to blend that in by bending the elbows. And as you do, it's going to change the stretch a lot, not into the forearms as much, but into the chest, the front of the shoulders a little bit more. And those deep breaths again. And then slowly. From there, just allowing the body weight to come forward, and then we're going to switch it so that the fingers are turned pointing backwards. The narrower the hands are, the stronger it is, the wider they are, the softer. So we're going to use a little creep away from it. So you're still kind of lifting the chest, and then you're going to start to kind of rock one hip forward, pulling your body weight forwards away from your hands. Try not to collapse into the shoulders, still trying to keep that lift. So it keeps in the front of the shoulders and it might start to move down into the arms as well. So you can choose how far you go. When you find that desired level of stretch in those target areas, you're still trying to keep the chest lifted. If it feels like it's going heavy into the elbows, imagine that you're almost trying to kind of pull the heels of your hands towards your hips and that might take it out of the elbows a little. Again, breathing deeply into the chest and the out breath, softening down. We're going to take one last breath there and as you breathe out with one leg, reaching it forward to pull the weight off the arms. And as you come forward into that position again, maybe just making that fist, opening the fingers out, just that little bit of getting the circulation going again. And then we're going to take a hold, just to round out through the back, just taking a hold of the outside edges of the feet. The feet can be apart. And as you're holding in through there, maybe your feet are pushing forward into your hands as your ribs are pulling back to round out. And allow the head to rest forwards and down. So you're softening through the head. The elbows can almost feel like they're pulling wide, or even maybe pressing your knees out against your elbows to press them a little bit wider. So it feels like it pulls the shoulder blades apart and hopefully brings that stretch in between that mid back, between the blades, even maybe a little bit lower or right across the back of the shoulders. Again, that deep breath. Opening up the rib spaces and the in breath. Feeling that it gets all those areas expanding and opening, the out breath softened, almost relaxes down. And then taking one final breath there. And then slowly as you breathe out, releasing the hands from the feet and just rolling the spine up into a lengthened position. So we're going to bring it into the neck just to, to finish with. So again, get yourself into what feels like a comfortable position, wherever that is for you. 
cross-legged butterfly leg straight whatever whatever feels like it's better for you okay so we're going to bring it into a side bend with the, the neck so we're going to use one hand reaching up and over so your fingers are going to kind of curl in maybe it's curling in just around the, the bone of the scalp okay just where it meets the neck in behind the ear so you're not cranking your neck down to the floor you're lifting it up and across and over so imagine you're finding that extra space and as you hold it in through there take a deep breath in and as you breathe out if you can soften in some way you can decide whether you add in a little bit of rotation almost looking underneath the armpit of that lifted arm so you can decide if you add in a movement into that and again wherever you're pulling does it feel like you can assist the movement to help the neck relax as you hold and a deep breath in and as you breathe out soften anything that you can in your body and then slowly whatever you're ready and another deep breath as you breathe out release the hand and then you can use the hand just to assist you to come up into a long neck position sometimes necks don't like to always be stretched quite strongly so it's taking caution with that so we're going to take it on to the other side so again the fingers hooking in somewhere maybe behind the ear just on to where the bone meets the, the muscles of the neck and then again you're lifting up across and over so bring it into that stretch so you're not cranking down on the neck you're finding lift that deep breath and on the out breath what can you soften a little bit more And then if you want to add in a little bit of rotation, if that feels good. Again, where does it tweak the stretch in the neck? Does it feel like it's a, an area that needs it? Breathe in slowly and gently. And very slowly again that deep breath in and as you breathe out releasing the hand and you can assist the head back up just nice and gentle from there then just dropping the chin to your chest and then slowly in breath lifting the chin up to the ceiling and the out breath again chin to chest and as it reaches chin to chest start to circle the right ear towards the right shoulder back down chin to chest left ear to the left shoulder and again just a few times going through each and as you slowly start to bring the head back down into center lifting and lengthening up through the center of the head so hopefully going through all of those stretches has made you feel just a little bit more open in each of those areas um, it makes you appreciate just maybe where some of those tensions are but sometimes just taking a pause just to stretch into them with the breath with the intention with the visualization with the imagination that they might start to, to soften things down a little bit more as ever after completing a session don't do anything mad straight after but i want you to try to um, just enjoy the sensation for the rest of this evening and in a sense i want you to just explore how the body feels different whenever you go to bed this evening just to notice if you feel a little bit more relaxed and maybe sleep a little bit better after that session and yeah if you like what we're producing with our videos give us a like maybe leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel to be notified of anything more that that's coming through so yeah thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon